Hello! This is a tutorial for using one of my one-of-a-kind hand-painted warps on your rigid heddle loom, but you can use this basic indirect warping method for any warp you create. Happy warping! Okay, so when I do my warps, they don't have choke ties, but what I do have is I have one group of threads at the top and my cross tied. What I'm doing right now is I'm untying that first thread at the very, very top, and I'm pulling a bundle out. They are basically tied up into little groups of 20, um, just so I could keep count. So now I'm re-tying that up. You don't really have to do this. It just makes sure that it keeps everything together. Now I'm going to my cross, and I am untying my cross very carefully. Um, I use a slippery nylon thread. It might shred a little bit, but that way the yarn slides around it really easily. So once again, I'm not removing this cross thread. I am just pulling out that little bundle right there. Perfect. So since this is the first bundle, um, it won't be 20 threads or 20 ends um, because I just keep warping until I'm done with the entire skein. So it will be somewhere between 10 to 20 threads. So now I'm just re-tying that on. Now I've got my little bunch right there and I'm gonna clip those ends. Clippity clippity. There we go. Okay, so you might have noticed I don't really have track of my cross anymore. It's gone, <laughs> but that's okay because I'm working in these small bundles. So I'm not gonna be crossing my threads back and forth, you know, all across my warp. Um, and then I chained them so you could kind of un unleash a little bit more if you need it. And now I just go through and I try to keep the threads as in order as possible, but um, even if they cross a little bit, you're gonna be okay. And you just start warping on. Um, I'm warping on with my heddle on the loom. You can sort of perch it up with a couple of clamps if you want, if that's easier. Um, but yeah, so just warping, warping. Before we move on, I've got a word from our sponsor. Who's that? Jessica the Rock. It says what's up on the back because she says what's up all the time. What's up? I love it. Okay, so I think this is the part that gets a little tricky when you're new to into work warping. You have it all warped on, you're ready to go, but now you gotta attach it to that back beam. And the warp kind of wants to move around, right? See, if I try to pull it, there's no tension holding it. So how do I attach it to that beam and have the warp stay stable? So there's different ways you can do this. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just anchor my warp onto the front beam. So, sorry, it's a little bit out of the camera, but what I'm doing is I'm just basically tying a knot around my warp and then tying the warp to my beam. And that will anchor it back there so it doesn't move around. Um, so different people do different things. Um, you can actually just tie the warp onto the beam or wrap it around a few times. You just wanna get it to be stable enough. I'm sure you could even just put books or weights on it, but I don't know, this works. Okay, and now I am gonna go ahead and lash it on very gently. I'm not putting a lot of pressure onto my warp. I don't wanna pull it at a skew at all. Now you can also just tie it directly. Um, I just personally prefer to lash on. It's just the way that I weave, but if you tie it onto um, your back beam as well, that, that is totally fine. Okay, so I have them all attached and I'm going to tie off my thread and then I'm just gonna sort of align them. I'm not worried about tension right now. I'm just worried about having all of them attached sort of an equal-ish distance away from the beam. Once again, it doesn't have to be totally perfect, but you don't want them to be you know, one really close to the heddle and one really close to beam. Does that make sense? You kind of see how those knots are sort of um, aligned. Okay, so I am now ready to roll on. Okay, awesome. So we are almost there. So this part will probably look familiar. 
I'm rolling onto my back beam and I've got some paper on there. You will notice I'm doing all the things they say never to do. I am combing and I am pulling and I am yanking. We're rigid heddle weavers. We get to do this stuff. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is I'm basically taking any little knots and cross threads. Oops, and I'm untying my warp <laughs> and moving them down to the end. Um, what I try to focus on is not having chaos near my heddle. The chaos goes down the warp. Um, this is the advantage of working with short warps is that the tangles and stuff are really easy to manage. So I'm kind of pulling, cranking, and then yanking it. I'm combing it where I need to comb it. And I just continue to do that process until my um, warp is completely onto my loom. Okay, we made it. Now I'm at the end and I'm gonna have probably some cross threads and some tangles at the very, very end. And I've got another choke tie holding my edges together or the end together and I'm gonna clip that up. And that's it. The rest of this will look really familiar. I'm just gonna lash it onto my front beam and I am gonna be ready to weave. And that's it. If you have any questions, you can write them below. Thanks for watching.